Hello everyone. So in today's video, we are going to focus on one specific type of skin cancer called melanoma. This video may be a little longer than others. However, if there is any basic material that you don't understand, please go and watch one of our previous videos. I would like to first mention that melanoma is one of the least common forms of skin cancer. However, it is the most dangerous. Now in this video, we are going to take a look at what is melanoma, how it happens, the science behind it, what to look out for, and how you can protect yourself. The cells affected in melanoma are called melanocytes. Melanocytes produce a substance called melanin. Melanin is a pigmented substance that gives our skin, hair, and eyes their color. Normally, these cells are present at the bottom of the epidermis and have extensions that project up throughout the epidermis. These projections carry melanosomes, which are small balloons carrying melanin to different cells within the epidermis. The melanin accumulates right above the nuclei of the cells, which is what holds our DNA, thus protecting the DNA from UV damage. When we are exposed to UV radiation, our melanocytes will produce more melanin than normal to try and protect our skin cells, which darkens the skin's natural pigmentation. So when you get a tan, it's a sign that your skin is trying to protect its DNA from being damaged. When the DNA of these melanocytes does become damaged, they begin to divide frequently without any regulation, giving rise to a tumor. In the early stages, this tumor is only within the epidermis. However, as time passes, the cells continue to grow and may eventually evade the epidermis and spread to other regions. When melanoma spreads from the skin to other organs in the body, this is called metastatic melanoma. Now we are going to shift gears a little bit and look at the different types of melanoma. So there are four types of melanoma, superficial spreading melanoma, lentigo maligna, acrolentiginous melanoma, and nodular melanoma. So let's first address superficial spreading melanoma. This type of melanoma accounts for 70% of cases and is often seen in young individuals. As the name suggests, it grows within the top layers of the skin for a long time before penetrating the lower layers. This type of melanoma can be found almost anywhere on the body, but is most likely to occur on the trunk in men, the legs in women, and the upper back in both. It's usually caused by overexposure to UV rays. It may appear as an irregular, flat, discolored region of the skin and range from light brown, black, blue, pink, red, or white. It can begin as a small freckle and grow larger over time, which is why it's important to check your skin regularly. Now let's look at lentigo maligna. It's similar to superficial spreading melanoma as it also arises in the upper surface of the skin and usually appears as a flat or mildly elevated molted tan with a dark brown or light brown discoloration. This type of melanoma typically arises in the elderly population on chronically sun exposed skin, damaged skin on the face, ears, arms, and upper trunk. They usually appear on the surface of the skin presenting with variable pigmentation and irregular shape. It can also be flat or mildly elevated. Lentigo maligna is usually large in size and has a smooth surface. Now let's look at acrolentigonous melanoma. It also spreads superficially before penetrating more deeply. However, it is quite different from the other types of melanoma as it usually appears as a black or brown discoloration under the nails or on the soles of the feet or palms of the hands. It may also appear as an open unhealing wound. It is the most common type of melanoma in African Americans and Asians and the least common among Caucasians. Lastly, let's look at nodular melanoma. Nodular melanoma may arise on any site but is most common on exposed areas of the head and neck. This type of melanoma is less strongly associated with sun exposure and is more common in males and females. Most are over the age of 50 when it is diagnosed. In this type of melanoma, the cancer is in the deeper layers of the skin, and when it presents itself to the surface, it appears as a bump or a large mole. The colors are usually black, but occasionally it can appear blue, gray, white, brown, tan, red, 
or skin tone. And in one third of cases, there's no pigmentation at all. And the size and shape can also vary significantly. In some cases, it, may, it has been seen to itch or even bleed. So what can you do to protect yourself? Stay out of the sun, especially during peak hours between 11 a.m. and 4 p.m. If you do go out in the sun, stay in a shaded area. And remember to protect yourself with a broad spectrum SPF sunscreen and to reapply it frequently, such as after swimming or sweating. Cover up when you're exposed to the sun by wearing a hat, sunglasses, long sleeve shirts, UV protective clothing. You can even use an umbrella. Another important thing to do is to check your skin monthly. If you have any more questions or would like to see other videos like this one, please visit our social media pages and our website.